Oh, oh, you're kidding. No way. Oh, I knew it. I came down and like I didn't go to the left there. Uh, to the right of the rock and I nosedived straight into the rock. So it came as no surprise to me that I demolished this back rim, this Bontrager rim. So it's just the Bontrager line comp come standard on the track slash. 29er. Uh, I gave these wheels a chance, definitely. I'm still running it on the front. It's still cool. They feel quite good. They feel sh they don't feel strong, but the, the wheel set the, itself is fast. The Bontrager hubs are real fast. I love them. Uh, but the alloy that Bontrager used to make their wheels is very, very, very soft. So I well and truly folded this sucker. You can see if we, if we get in on that, it just got munched. So well and truly done for. I could probably try and bend it back, but the, the rim bed and everything is collapsed. And yeah, you'd just be wasting your time. So it's a good opportunity to have a look at this Panzer tire insert. So Panzer... Got this from the local shop, Whippets Workshop. Uh, KWT actually sent it out to test, so I want to give this thing a good run. I'm going to put it in the front. It's 100 grams, or 95 grams, give or take, they say. So if we look at the back, we got 29 enduro downhill, which is what this is. 2.3 to 2.6 tires, uh, tire size, 95 grams, 100 mil of sealant. It actually comes with their own sealant as well. So I'll clean my rim out and put this gear in and see if the sealant's any good as well. And what is it? What's it made of? It's kind of like, it seems like it's like pool noodle material to me. It's very much like a foam. It seems like it'd probably cut relatively easily. Like if I dig my nail into it. Yeah, you can see, like, I can peel it up. So a big, hard impact will cut it, but it's not going to cut your tyre. Like, it's it's a huge amount of protection between your, between your tyre and the... It seems like it's got another density in there, like another, like another layer. I'm not too sure, but... You get a channel down the guts. I assume just for things to flow and, and whatnot. Maybe for a balance situation. But at 95 grams, I think this would be a promising front uh, flat protector or rim protector. Because at the front, I usually run the Affetto Mariposa, which is quite a thin, kind of like a Huck Norris. And it's been okay. It's been good. It's probably saved a couple of dents in the rims and maybe a couple of cuts on the front on the Patrol. But uh, this is way more robust for not much more weight. So that's going in the front as soon as... I get this thing back so update with the track just quickly i'll do a full video about this as well we'll look at the rim first so i've upgraded to a ex511 on the same hub we're still on the we're still on the bontrager 54 tooth engagement or 54 points of engagement wicked hub very 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 free spinning it'll spin all day same as the front hub very impressed now all i had to do was get longer nipples so i think they're 14 mil nipples if i recall correctly so i've gone brass nipples longer and the original spokes worked so it worked out perfect uh, i just taped the two rims together and uh, swapped the swap the spokes over centered it or dished it to what i thought was the center of the frame and got it pulling yeah you got it fairly straight and true but there was a little bit of a vertical hop in it and took it to the shop and chris had a laugh and said yeah I'll give you about a four out of ten for that effort and uh, fixed it up for me and made it good. So, strong as back wheel. Chris at Whippets Workshop built it for me. Shout out. Uh, always building killer wheels. He does a wicked job. And he's very, uh, uh, he stands by his work for sure. So, you build, he'll build it. You go and ride it for a couple of weeks, bring it back in, he'll tick it all up. And the thing will be strong as hell. So, thank you very much, Chris. And thanks KWT for sending me this out or sending the shop out this. And thanks Whippets for hooking us up. We'll see how this thing goes. It should be interesting. But anyway, yeah. So I'm sending this shock off because it's just absolutely... It's puked out oil 
constantly, not puked out, but every ride there's a heap of oil in the bottom here. And it seems to be, I mean, it's obviously got, dropping a little bit from the can, but it's dropping a lot from actually under here where that, sh where that through shaft comes out, being that it's, a, it's the Trek through shaft technology. So that's got to go back. It's lost all its damping capabilities. Like it's gone from feeling really strong in the minus to having to ride it in the mid and now I have to ride it in the positive to get any sort of damping support from that shock. So that's going back. Uh, otherwise we're all good. Slash. Shining. <laughs>